So we're still down on the ground doing a couple exercises. Uh, this one I really love to do. It's a great opener for the front of the body and it's also a great uh, strengthener as well and it involves your core and whole body engagement. Um, so if you uh, do a lot of sitting in the day, this is a really good exercise to do to kind of help balance out those pressures and stresses going through your body from sitting. Um, so what we're going to do, I call this a modified mountain climber, or I basically just call it a mountain climber. It's not uh, mountain climbers that you might see elsewhere, um, but there you go. <laughs> Take it for what it is. Um, so what this involves is a little bit of a posterior tuck to the hips. So you're just going to come up, and what I mean by that is you've got your pelvis, bottom part of the pelvis is going to come forward, top part's going to come back. So you just do a little bit of a notch with the hips, and what that does is it protects that lumbar region, and also helps to engage the belly. So pull that belly in a little bit to keep that lumbar from bending too much. And you're gonna come up onto your feet, step forward with your left leg, and then as you've got that posterior tuck, you're gonna drive your hip down towards the ground. Now see, as I've got it tucked, I'm not coming that far. If I were to untuck my hip, I'm gonna come down even farther down. And the, But I've got this big curve in my low back. So I'm gonna tuck in my hip and keep that low curve from happening in my low back. All right, and then I come back, step up with your other leg, keeping the pelvis tucked, belly button pulled in, drop it to the ground, come back up. And notice that my arms stay straight as I do this, come back. Now you can do this from your knees as well. Down on your knees, it looks like this. Drive one leg up and then drive it down into the ground come up and drive it down. Now there's not one way is better and, or one way is stronger or one way is weaker and actually either way has benefits through your body and you could try both and see which one gives you a better feeling of opening through the hips. If one way feels more intense and restricted then I would recommend giving that way that method to try like for instance with my knee down on the ground I'm actually getting a little bit more in through that hip and I'm opening up that hip. So keeping the pelvis tucked, and come in. All right, so I'll show you on the feet here. And then here, elbow stay straight. Right. So one way you can progress this movement or to add an, an additional uh, option is to, as you step up with that left leg, bring up the left elbow, open the front of the chest, Come back, down, return the foot, step up the right leg, bring up the right elbow up and high, come back. Keep that arm that's down on the ground nice and straight, come back. Now, from the ground on the knees, that looks like this. All right, that is your mountain climber with several options uh, to choose from to fit you where you're at. Give that one a try and give me some comments or questions if you have any. Thanks.